boy, oh boy, oh boy! It's Christmas, Bob! It feels like it's been a whole year since we had a Christmas. Well, it, it's sort of an annual thing. Hi, Larry. Did you bring the Christmas decorations? Got them. Everything. As assigned, I have assembled an amazing assortment of culinary delights from across the globe. What? I brought the food. Christmas food from around the world. Yay! When do we eat? Eat food. Not yet, guys. The Christmas food is for the show. We love Christmas food. Ready. And you've got all the decorations? Sure do. I got stockings, tinsel, and teeny tiny twinkly lights. And? What? Anything else? Like what? Did you get the tree? The what? The tree! The Christmas tree! The Christmas tree? Yes, the Christmas tree! Hmm. Was that on my list? Yes, it was on your list! It's a big part of Christmas decorations! I'll be right back. Bob, we've got the food, decorations, and, we hope, a tree. But what's the show about? It's, it's about Christmas! Right! Christmas! Christmas! Yes, but what about Christmas? What's our theme? That usually comes from a letter. From a kid. Have we gotten any letters with questions about Christmas? Like, what's the best Christmas food? Or the best Christmas music? Or the best Christmas stunts? Hey Get this. I climb to the top of the rafters and dive 30 feet straight down into a vat of eggnog. It's never been done before. As president of the VeggieTales fan club, have you seen any letters about Christmas? We have one. Just one. Is it about food? Decorations. Eggnog diving? Dear Bob and Larry, Christmas is coming, and I know I should be excited, but I'm not. What? How could he not be excited? Oh, that's too bad. Oh! My dad lost his job, and his new job is in a different city. It means I have to move away from my friends. Oh, poor child! How can I be happy about Christmas when things aren't going very well? Your friend, Arthur. Oh, dear. We need to cheer him up. He needs some Christmas spirit. We've got our work cut out for us. Who's got an idea? Ho, ho, ho! It's time for the show. Curtain's up in 10 seconds. I hope it's real Christmassy. Oh, dear. everybody. What's next, Mr. Bob? How do we start the show? I almost have enough eggnog for my dive. Yeah, I don't think that's going to cheer up Arthur. I need more time to figure this out. Uh, let's see, Archibald, how are your foods of Christmas coming along? 
Looking delicious. Ready when you are, maestro. All right, stand by and I'll give you an introduction. <clears throat> uh, welcome everyone to our Veggie Tales Christmas show. <laughs> when we're feeling a little down, nothing cheers us up like Christmas food. I hope. So here's our own Archibald Asparagus guiding us through Christmas food from around the world. No matter what your grumpy mood, you can't resist this Christmas food. Fa la 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 la. We love Christmas food. Bring it on. Ready. Send your taste buds for a loop and try this yummy cabbage soup. Fa la 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 la. Cabbage soup? Not Christmassy. It is if you live in the Czech Republic. Not really feeling it. Let's bring on the Christmas food. This Christmas time you'll get your wish if you enjoy this Christmas dish. Fa la 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 la. I hope it's not so. What am I looking at? Looks like jelly. Come on, fellows, take a risk. Have a slip of Ludafisk. Uh -huh. Which is what exactly? Jellied fish. Yeah. Fish jelly. Oh man, that's not Christmas food. It is if you live in Scandinavia. Fish jiggles. I want Christmas food. Do not think I'm being rude, but all of this is Christmas food. Fa la 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 la. You did not like dish one or two. But here's a dish just right for you. It better be ham or something. Piggy. That's not ham. Now it's time to get your filler. Tasty fried up caterpillars. Caterpillars? Gonimbrasia balina, a moth species whose caterpillar is harvested in southern Africa around Christmas time and served up fried and crunchy. Fa la 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 la. All right, fella, you said this was gonna be Christmas food. Ham and turkey and pies and cookies. It's Christmas food from around the world, my friends. We're on an educational journey of discovery. No pies, no cookies. I'll give you one more chance to give us something Christmassy. One more chance. I'm thrilled to show you what's in store. Feast your eyes on number four. Fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la. Huh? It's looking at me. <laughs> Roast sheep's head, a Christmas delicacy in Norway. Fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Where are you going? Burger Bell for some real Christmas food. Cheeseburgers. Oh man, weird Christmas food, no Christmas tree. This show isn't going well at all. Did someone ask for a Christmas tree? Ta-da! Nice, huh? Larry, that's a coat rack. But what is a tree, Bob? Are we having this conversation? It's tall. It has branches that hold up lights and tinsel and maybe coats. That's a coat rack. It's tree-like. Look, Arthur is having a tough time. I'm having a tough time. Our show is a disaster. We need a Christmas tree, Larry. Or what do we have to celebrate? My creativity is so undervalued. Hey, there's a pile of coats next to the door. What happened to the... Oh. Uh, don't worry, I sent Larry out to get a real tree. We're gonna make Christmas worth celebrating. 
You really think a tree makes Christmas worth celebrating? Well, and the food, and the presents. None of that stuff will help Arthur celebrate Christmas. Well, then what will? Understanding why Christmas is worth celebrating, even in tough times, especially in tough times. I think we need to tell Arthur a story. What kind of story? About Christmas morning with snow and Santa and lots of presents and food and stuff? Nope. We're gonna tell a story about a shepherd. A junior shepherd. A junior shepherd named Junior. Shepherd. I'm not very happy today. I'm Junior the Junior Shepherd. My grumpiness won't go away. He's Junior, Junior the Junior Shepherd. He's not very happy, it's true. So why such a gloomy shepherd? He'll probably explain it to you. I live in a time that is not very fun. I don't get to play and I don't get to run. I work in the field and I bake in the sun Just so my family can eat So we don't end up on the street He's Junior the Junior Shepherd He's not very happy, it's true Oh, why such a gloomy shepherd He just explained it to you That really is kind of sad Yeah, not happy it was sad. Back then, lots of kids didn't have enough to eat. The world was a tough, tough place. Tough times. Tough times. Hey, look it. What? Star. Not usually there. Oh, come on. Stars don't just move around. If a star was doing something crazy, you wouldn't be the only one to notice. Hey! The star that's doing something crazy? There it is! Don't let it get away! Who are you guys? We are wise men from afar We are following the star And we think the news is great Which is why we just can't wait To get to Bethlehem Did you say ham? Piggy! No, we said ham Bethlehem Oh, because we thought we were getting ham, but they tried to feed us cabbage. And jigglefish. Guys, let's stick with the story. Right, got it. Where are you headed, oh wise men? I prefer the term wise persons. Where are you headed, oh wise persons? To Bethlehem. Didn't you hear our song? Right, got it. But why? What's happening in Bethlehem that's such great news? Oh, haven't you heard? A new king is born! Oh, we've had lots of kings. Roman kings, Persian kings, Assyrian kings. They're all the same. But this king is different. This king is the Messiah. <gasps> Messiah? How do you know all this? That star told us. We cannot be late. Perhaps we will see you there? Uh, yeah. We're probably gonna stay here. And she... Okay. You wanna hear our song again? Not really. We are wise men from afar. We are following a star. And we think the news is great. Which is why we just can't wait to get to Bethlehem. What's Messiah? I wouldn't worry about it. The star told us. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I wouldn't believe it unless the whole sky lit up and told me. <laughs> we are here to tell you something. Yeah. Do not be afraid, herders of sheep. 
I'm not afraid. I just can't see anything. Too bright. We are here to announce the first Christmas. Wait, Christmas? Yeah, what's Christmas? Oh, right. They will not celebrate Christmas for quite some time. Christmas! Christ? Mass! A mass is a church service. Christ is the one we celebrate at this church service. And Christ is? A Greek translation of a Hebrew word. Look. I'm not trying to pick up a new language. Just give me the news. If Christ is the Greek word, what's the Hebrew word? Messiah! That's what the wise person said. There was a new king, and that king was the Messiah. But what is a Messiah? Hang on to your hats! Let's help me join, let's help me join, let's help me join. going on, but I sure am excited. Yay, enthusiasm. So the shepherds left their sheep in the fields. Rhonda, <laughs> you're in charge. Bed by nine o'clock. No TV. <laughs> and headed off to Bethlehem to see this new king. Junior the Junior Shepherd decided to come along too. He wasn't as excited as the others. What good was a new king? What is a messiah? And what difference does it make for him? And this new thing, this Christmas, why was it worth celebrating when the world was so, so hard? Yeah, I was thinking those same questions. And he'll find his answers when we get to Bethlehem. Later that night in Bethlehem, the wise persons came to a little stable, and they couldn't believe their eyes. I can't believe my eyes, we were following the skies. Oh, what a big surprise, the king is here. Could it be any stranger? A king in a manger? I hope he's not in danger. Christ, Christ is near, the king is here. Oh, would you look at that. There's a stable and those wise guys, and it's all glowing. Shiny. I tell ya, this is something big. Tremendous. Well, what do you think about that? I don't know what to think. It's a new king or a messiah, whatever that is. But what difference does it make to me? Hey, aren't you the narrator? Are you supposed to be talking to me? I'm not just the narrator. I'm also in the story. What? Are you the new king's grandpa? Or great-grandpa? Or great-great-grandpa? Hey, I'm not that old. Uh, but no, I'm not any of those things. My name is Simeon, and God promised me something. He did? Yep. He promised me that before I die, I would say the Messiah. I keep hearing that. What is the Messiah? Messiah means chosen one. God's Messiah is the one who has come to save us all. Save us from what? Have you ever noticed it seems sometimes like the whole world is broken? I sure have. But why? Why does it seem like that? Why? Well... Because it's true. 
the world is broken? Yep, by sin. And sin is? When we put ourselves first. When we say, I'm not gonna listen to God, I'm gonna do things my way. Sin has broken the whole world. And the Messiah is coming to make it right, to fix it, to heal everything. Whoa, but how could one person do that? Because that baby in there, that baby isn't just a person. That baby is also God, and he has the power to heal everything. He can make all the bad go away? Yep. When? Like tomorrow? Ah, uh, not quite. This is just the beginning. The kingdom of God is here. That baby will grow up to heal people, to make blind people see and lame people walk, to show us what life is like when all the bad stuff is wiped away. And we can join him. We can help spread the kingdom of God. And then one day, when it is time, God will set everything right. This baby will make all the bad go away. He'll bring the kingdom of God, and I can be a part of it. The promise of Christmas is God with us in the bad times, and God with us to end the bad times. The kingdom of God is here. <laughs> and we can all be a part of it. Take the time to listen. Take the time to look. The reason for the season is a story in a book about a baby in a manger. He's gonna be the king. They call him the Messiah, and that's why the angels sing hallelujah to the newborn king. Hallelujah. That's why the angels sing hallelujah to the newborn king. Hallelujah. That's why the heaven breaking in. He'll heal the broken hearted. He'll take away the sting. The answer to the evil is the coming of the kingdom. Hallelujah. That's why the angels sing. Hallelujah. To the coming of the kingdom. Hallelujah. That's why the angels sing. Hallelujah. To the coming of the kingdom of God. Guys, that was fantastic. And you were right, Pa. We didn't need more food or, or a tree or presents. We needed to understand what Christmas really means, that God is with us here in the tough times and here to end the tough times. I'd say our Christmas show was just right. Now, Bob, I thought you said there'd be a Christmas tree. Now, what kind of Christmas show doesn't have a Christmas tree? Did somebody say tree? Wait, you got a tree? What is a tree, Bob? Don't mess with me, Larry. No, really. It's big, it's green, it's wide at the bottom and pointy at the top. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Fellas? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Goliath? It's me. A Christmas tree. That's about the best Christmas tree I've ever seen. Thank you very much. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Tinsel tickles me. How about an encore, Bob? Oh, Goliath, oh, Goliath, how lovely are your branches. Oh, Goliath, oh, Goliath, how lovely are your branches. I love to be a Christmas tree, but how the tinsel tickles me. It makes him weird.
squiggle makes him squirm. I squiggle like a giant worm. Oh, Goliath, oh, Goliath, how lovely are your branches. Oh, Goliath, oh, Goliath, how lovely are your branches. It makes him giggle, makes him twitch. And then my nose begins to itch. But he is happy just to be. A decorated Christmas tree. Oh, Goliath, oh, Goliath, how lovely are your branches. Oh, Goliath, oh, Goliath, how lovely are your branches. The shining lights don't bother me. They brightened up my Christmas tree. And look at all the ornaments. They're sure to win the compliments. But all the tinsel tickles me and fills the air with hee-hee-hee. And, and he is, is happy, he is happy, he is happy, he is happy just to be. A decorated Christmas tree. Thanks for coming to our show, everybody. Just like our friend Arthur, who sent us this letter, I wasn't sure why you should be excited about Christmas in a messy, messy world. But now I know a messy world is exactly why we should be excited about Christmas. Because God is here to make it right. He's spreading the kingdom of God all over the world to erase the bad stuff. The promise of Christmas is that God is with us in tough times, and God is with us to end tough times for good. Until then, we can all help spread the kingdom of God. We can show people God's love. We can show them what the kingdom is all about. This would be a good time for a verse. Oh, rats. I forgot to find a verse. Fear not, Tomato! Oh, good. Jean-Claude. I am not Jean-Claude. I am an angel. Didn't you see the show? Yes, in the show, you were playing an angel, and you did very well. Do you have a verse? Oui, delivered straight from heaven. <laughs> it's a fortune cookie. What's it say, Bob? Uh, uh, hang on. Jesus went into Galilee and preached the good news from God. Jesus said, the right time has come. The kingdom of God is near. Change your hearts and lives and believe the good news. Mark 1, 14 and 15. The right time has come. The kingdom of God is near. That's the good news Jesus brought to us. That's why Simeon was so excited to see Jesus. And that's why Christmas is worth celebrating even in a messy world. And now, without further ado, I will leap 30 feet into a vat of eggnog. I'm sorry, Mr. Lunt, but we're all out of time. Out of time? Yes, out of time. Well, we hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. And always remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Goodbye! Goodbye. Goodbye. Au revoir. Next year, do you know how hard it was to get 95 gallons of eggnog on short notice? Yeah! Oh well, does anyone want some eggnog? I do.